We're just a lowly count. Our liege is now King Eric II of Sweden. Some young dude. I don't he, I don't like him for some reason. Oh, because I'm ambitious. And he decided to grant me the title of High Almoner. Uh, oh, here we go. This is my wife, Godchildy. Godchild. It is as if I see her for the first time. A good natured spirit. The interesting and funny quirk she has. And how lovely she really is. Could it be that I love my gold child? So I could say, yes, I love her, and then I fall in love with her and I get piety. Or I could say, deny the love, and then she hates me. So I'm going to say yes. And we're pretty much in love now, which is great, because that just means that you're going to get kids way earlier. I mean, it'll be really soon, probably. Let's just take a look at this. Oh, we have his doll now. Damn. So um, there's really not that much I can change. I can get ask my vessels to pay me more. Problem is I don't have any vessels. I don't have anyone paying me in my court. I have an ally, my father-in-law. I can't call him to war for some reason. And he's pretty far away, probably. So now we're just a part of Sweden, and there's just very little that we can do. We might be able to get demand duchy from Liege. Oh, he needs to like me more. Title rank is Duke. Desired by Kevin Fett can be given away. Rank is lower than King. So if I get my Liege to like me more... If I give him some money, or if I, you know, do some... I can declare war on him for independence, uh, but that's not wise right now. We have to wait for, I don't know, internal turmoil or something. We need to find some way to just... Um, let's see, I'm just trying to... Uh, for, that's bad, what the fuck? Sir, I just need to find, like, one little, super small province that I can take over. How about that? I mean, I just want that. That's supposed to be mine. I don't have a good reason to... Um, I'm going to try and fabricate claims on that place. Try and take it over. And there we go. He's been sent and all that. Oh, what is this? Um, okay. To the most excellent Count Fast. Your wisdom and mercy are legendary. We would like to appoint you to Chancellor. What do you say? So, he wants me in his council. I mean, he wants me as a chancellor, which is weird, because I only have 10 council skill, diplomacy. Um, and if he wanted me as a marshal, that would make more sense. But I'm, I'm going to accept, obviously. And then he likes me more, because I am now in his council. Am I right? I'm not even sure about that. But at least I'm in his council, which means I probably have more influence now. Uh, so, that's a good thing. I just need to get some more money. I can pay him, and then I can uh, ooh, resign from council. He's not going to like that. Declare war. That's a bad thing, too. He doesn't have any kids that I can educate for him. I don't have any kids myself, so I basically just have to wait for all that to blow over. Uh, and I don't want to die, because my spy master, who could actually kill me if he wanted to, um, I mean, he could he could kill me. So let's try and avoid that. I'm going to collect Texas and Dahl, get some more money. Even though there's a small chance, it actually shows the effect, uh, possible outcomes. There's about a 5% chance yearly that your peasants attack the steward and then he could, you know, get wounded. But he's pretty sucky anyway, I don't care. Uh, local Inquisition, I'm gonna, uh, fuck, I should have sent him. Oh, whatever. Military tech. Research it, re research, improve religious relations. Local Inquisition, just research tech, I don't care. So I could actually send my chancellor to improve diplomatic relations with the king of Sweden. So he could like me more. And then I could demand a... Uh, let's see. I need to see my liege. I can demand that he gives me a duchy. I can't really do that now. Uh, what was it again? Here it is. Demand duchy. I don't even know which one it is. But okay. Uh, I know that one of my slothful courtiers, courtiers, I don't know how to pronounce that word, is capable of more than he realizes. I want to push the courtier into being more ambitious. I believe there's great potential in that one. It is for both our best, and then Gunhild will be more ambitious. I don't need to do this. And then I get merciful, and I get extra prestige, but my intrigue goes down. So I'm going to go, it is for both our best. And then it's possible... Ah, here we go. My subtle way of pushing Gunhild into showing her true potential has worked wonders. It is as she has realized how fun it can be to be ambitious. And then I can say, I give myself a pat on the back and she likes me more. And there's a chance of me getting the trait ambitious. But I already have that one. So now let's take a look at the court. Gunhild. And she's not ambitious at all. What the fuck? 
Okay, I was kind of expecting that, but whatever, it's fine. Oh, and she's not married. Would you look at that? You can actually uh, arrange that, you know, people in your court get married if you really want that, but there's not really uh, any point to doing that right now. It's mostly important to get claims on other things. Uh, 11 vessels. I am one of those. Yay. I just need to get some freaking kids. What's my wife doing? Why aren't we doing it? I want kids. Lover, personal diplomacy. Attraction to gregarious. Okay, okay. Flamboyant schemer. So let's see. Liege sent gift. Oh, I need 60 gold to send to him if I want him to like me more. Which is a lot of money, which I don't have right now. Has been banished from Duke Sven of Ostergutland's lands. Okay. I just hope that there's Swedish people watching this that are going crazy. Like, oh, you're saying the thing's wrong. What the fuck are you doing? That'll be funny. Um, right now, I'm not texting my uh, feudal lords at all because there's none of them. So there's no point to doing that. I could uh, increase the sea taxation, but then people will you know, start disliking me, and that's not good. Because then they can revolt and kill your ass. So let's try not to do that. Who's this? Oh, that's me. Why am I abroad? Where? Oh, where am I? At court in Sudermanland. Oh, that's over there. That's where I am right now. With the king, because I'm his chancellor. County of Smaland. Vestergutland. I, don't, I can't pronounce that shit. Holy crap. Whoa, how is the... Oh, it's Prince. I actually read Princess for a second. That would have been really weird. So I let's see if I can I can invite him to court. He's not gonna accept, but he could do it. He's not gonna accept because he'd like oh he likes his father too much. But um, for example, I'm just gonna give a little example here. You could invite him to your court. You know the the king's son, and he has a claim on the kingdom of Sweden. Okay, right here. So if you do that, you can basically uh, declare war on the king of Sweden on behalf of this guy. Holy crap! What's going on? What is happening? Norway, what are you doing? Tron, Trindelag? Norway is a, you know, there's some internal stuff going on right now. Which means that this would be a good time to take over some provinces. But, obviously I am not able to do that because I am weak as fuck. All I have is this little province. And I am 30. I look so old. I just need... To get with this girl. Come on, you're my wife. Where are my kids? What are you doing? Oh, fuck. She's chased or chased. Which means that there's a very small... That the chance that she actually, you know, will get married to me is a lot smaller. So, basically, I'm, I'm fucked. First things first, I'm gonna send money. Oh, what's this? Okay, Sig Trig has arrested an armed man with a ragged armor and a spotty horse. He says that the man claims to be a hedge knight, but clearly does not believe that statement. I can say order him to be released, or um, which basically means that this guy who arrested him will like me less, but I got some piety. Or I can say, that's clearly a bandit, and then I'll lose prestige, and the guy who arrested him will uh, get some prestige. My marshal. I'm just gonna say release his ass because I don't want to, you know, murder anyone that's innocent. Okay, some war is going on. Oh, there's some rebels here. This is a nice chance to show. This is a rebel army, army of Olaf, that um, is just laying siege to the town that they're from. They probably didn't agree with something, and now they're like, "Hey, fuck that! We're taking over this place." And now well, there's actually some some counties here that are, you know, they could actually be taken over if you. Um, have some armies, which I don't. So I'm going to talk to my king soon, give him the money, and demand that I get a duchy, and see if that works. I mean, it's going to... It's. I'm hope, hoping that it's going to work, but who knows. What the fuck is this? So I don't like my king, because I am ambitious. I want the duchy of Vaster Goodland for some reason. I didn't even know that myself. Basically, my character wants this place. I guess this is part of a duchy. Uh, Kingdom of Sweden. Duchy of... Vister Goodland. Oh yeah, so basically if I get these two, I can get a duchy. Right now I don't have a claim on that. So I'm gonna talk to my king and be like, Yo king, what's up dude? Where is my freaking... Oh, now I have to pay more money because he's richer? That's not fair. Oh crap, doesn't he have a kid? How can I improve... 
Spymaster Sweden should get married to Gunhield because she's stupid. Metrolinio. Oh, he doesn't want to because she's unimportant. Well, that's a little bit mean. How about uh, Estrid? Oh, no, he don't, doesn't want that either. So uh, they're not interested in that crap. Holy shit. What the fuck are you doing, Sweden? So this is basically what I was talking about. There's basically just huge turmoil in Sweden itself. And Norway is so small. Sweden is freaking small. This is the perfect time to go and get, you know, your own power. Now, sadly enough for me, I don't. Ha I only have 225 men. I don't have the money to pay for mercenaries. I'm lost. There's nothing I can do right now. I just need to get kids and just get married to the fucking king's... Um, King's, um, I don't know, son or something, and just get some claims. Uh, ambitions, ambitions, ambitions. I want to kill my wife. How why can I not kill my wife? How hard can it be? She's not important at all. Let's see. Set up a spy network in Dal. Oh, there you go. I'm going to fucking kill my wife. 40% chance. Boom. Okay, so actually cost me 50 gold. Okay, 50 fucking gold. Which is a lot, but my wife is still alive. I thought I was a counselor. Chancellor, I mean. Am I not anymore? Did I just get fired? Dude, what the heck are you doing to me? So I'm going to attempt to declare independence from the Kingdom of Sweden, but um, there's very little to zero chance that this is going to work. And if I lose, then I am imprisoned. Okay, and if the leader of the attacking alliance dies, then the character receives an event and the war ends. So if I lose this, I lose all my prestige and even more. The king gets prestige and I'm in prison, which is not good. I can also depose my liege. Um, and then, you know, the heir that I like the most will get um, the kingdom of Sweden. But that's, that's not going to happen either. So I'm not sure as to what I should do. I can't demand a duchy because my king doesn't like me. I wish there was an easy way for for him, for me to make him like me, but there's not. It just doesn't work that way. Okay, so there's some stuff going on. Blah, blah, blah. Holy crap, look at the map. It's broken. How about over here? I'm just gonna, I like taking a look at the map in this game. Just to see what's going on. Call to arms. Uh, okay, so Princess Maria of Sweden is rebelling against King Eric, which is... Is that her brother? A child, Prince Ing, Prince King Eric. So that's her son. She's rebelling against her son. If I say no, I don't get any, any anything. You know, value is lost. I can say yes, and then because we're allies for some reason, and I can help her fight against Sweden, Sweden's king. That is because you know she is Sweden pretty much. So um, is that Sweden Upland? Just, you know, just for fuck's sake, I'm going to say yes. For fuck's sake, that's probably not used in the right context, but whatever. Um, just, you know, for shits and giggles, I'm going to say yes and see how this war will, will turn out. So now I'm rebelling against my king. I am my own little country again. I'm revolting, uh, basically. And, uh, yeah, I'm just being straight up annoying, I guess. I want to become a marshal. That's my new ambition. So what I'm going to do, if I want to help her is I'm going to amass my own personal levies, which is 225 men, and send them out, out there to fight the disgusting Swedish pig. No offense to any Swedish people, because everyone in this game is Swedish at this point. Like, everyone that I'm fighting with is Swedish. So, don't get angry at me. Oh, fuck, that's bad. Okay, here we go. Number of men are getting slaughtered by those 400-something other soldiers, and obviously they're losing that battle. So now all my men are dead. Except for 30. So I guess I shouldn't be worried anymore. Um, so the king... Oh, fuck. I can't even offer peace. So, damn it. Now I'm stuck in a war that I'm definitely going to lose. But I just figured maybe she'll actually do something. And then she'll be happy that I helped her out. But I'm not really helping her out anyway. So, yeah. It's not going to work. I can raise 18 soldiers and just go to war. Um... But that's not going to help anyone. So let's let's not do that. King. Hey, King. He hates me now because I, I'm a traitor and I'm at war with him. Which he doesn't like. So, I mean, starting here was a big mistake. 
Or I should have just been lucky and gotten kids because now my fucking wife's not getting me any kids in prison. I could imprison her, but people are not going to like it. Um, jeez. Request a divorce. I need more piety for that. So right now I'm just stuck in this stupid war that we're going to lose. Okay, there we go. I mean, I'm going to lose this war. Okay, here we go. The Catholic Church's men are not always easy to deal with. I need to make sure I have their approval and have both my wife, Godchild, and my court chaplain, Keto of Malsta, giving me advice on how to earn the approval of the Catholic Church's men. Godchild suggests I should offer to rebuild the church. Keto F. Malsta suggests I try to scare them into submission. So I can follow, you know, my wife, or I can follow some random bitch my core chapel i'm gonna follow my wife which is better uh because she's pretty cool and i want to get kids from her damn it because her i mean her traits are pretty good except for chest or chaste which means that she's not gonna get any kids um well she can get kids it's just the chance is reduced which i don't like i don't like it when chances are reduced so this game might be over extremely soon and then i'll just um start somewhere else Maybe England, around England, maybe somewhere in Spain what could be interesting. But I just picked uh, just a bad, you know, place to start in the beginning. And I shouldn't have rebelled. That was just stupid. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, where is she anyway? Like, what is Upland? Where's that? Oh, she's, that's hers. So she's basically this part, and Sweden is that part. So there's, it's not that weird that I thought that she might have a chance at winning, but she's doing terribly, because we are losing the war. Just really bad. Just look at those um, those battles. Look at the war score. So far, we've, we've lost pretty much every battle that there is. Like, pretty badly, too. We only won one of them. Um, so here we go. One of my, my uh, people are saying that he could be a better steward than Estrad which is this bald idiot. And he wants to be the title of steward, which he actually is better. He's got a skill of 10. This guy's got a skill of 8. So boom, you're my new steward. There you go. So that means that our state um, stewardship has increased, which is a good thing. Now, this freaking war is not going well. Is it? Nope. It's going terribly. Oh, and now I'm ill. So, let's take a look at that. Ill, which means that my health is down by two. My fertility is down as well. So, even less chance to have a baby. And my martial skills are down. In other words, even less chance of getting a baby. Chance of dying. If I die, the game is over. Okay, thank God. I'm, I'm feeling well again. So, just please, just get it on with your wife. Damn it. I just need kids. I don't have any air. Like, I don't know how I'm supposed to get an air too, but... I'm screwed. I can't even assassinate her. I mean, there's 0% chance of that ever happening, so... I don't know what to do. I, I seriously don't know what to do. Have a daughter. Have a son. Damn it. I want that. Ambition. Any child is male. I have to wait for a little bit until I can pick again, but whatever. Seems that... Oh god, I cannot believe this. So, Sweden will probably be back soon enough. Okay, I'll, let's do it. I'm paying a little bit of money for some prestige, but it, I don't care about that crap right now. The heir. The heir is zero years old. What the fuck are you doing, man? My neighbor. He's got some titles and some duchies, but whatever. Maybe I should just start as a king. Just to uh, show you guys what this game really is about. Because it's really not as boring as it seems this way. When I'm just stuck in my little province and at war. A war that I can't even see. And that Sweden is winning. They're kicking our asses. And there's little to nothing I can do. I'm going to raise like 100 soldiers and attack them over there. That's the best I can do. Oh, here we go. Now, this is a war that we might actually win or a little battle. Yeah, here we go. So, we won a little war. Still, we don't have enough men to actually um, lay siege this place. Because that would have been nice, but no. Wait, what the fuck? My wife wants to have a daughter. And she has a claim on the county of Evro. Evro. I don't even fucking know. Which is all the way in France. And it's actually been occupied by England now. 
which gives me a reason to declare war to England, but, you know, we cannot declare war if we have raised any army levies. The count is not independent, and we don't have a valid reason, but if we declare war on the king, we could actually do that if we hadn't raised any things. Uh, but yeah, whatever. So there's no no reason for war just yet. I get out of there, that's my county. Oh, we're actually winning the war, it seems, right now. Because even more people have revolted against... Sweden, which is a good thing. I don't have Oh, we have measles, which means that there's an improved chance of people getting sick, which is bad. I'm gonna try and not let that happen, please. Oh no, my wife has got measles. Oh no. That's so stupid. I'm so mad about that and stuff. Please kill her, measles. Please just take her from me. It takes more to kill me than measles. Oh, I actually... Did I have measles? What the heck? I didn't know that. Okay, whatever. We're winning this war. Pretty big, actually. Because you had to notice, we have a, a war score of 27%, because we've been winning a lot of battles. And Sweden is getting pushed back. We have a lot of people on our side now. So, basically, Sweden is stuck with these two little counties, and we're taking that one, so that's good. Yeah, that's really good. So let's help with the siege... Um, we're just a little force of about 100 men, but whatever. We can still try and help. Um, oh, S-Trade has got the measles. Health minus two. That's uh, You can't even see health. It's just a, a stat that you can't even check, which is ridiculous, but okay. And we're still laying siege to this place. There we go. Victory. And this war is going the way I like it. Oh, yeah. Boom. Freaking killed. Still not that many soldiers. Vicious imprisonment. Which means that... Um, let's take a look. There's a plot that uh, my marshal wants to murder my spy master. Because he's the heir to the county of Dahl. Let's take a look at that heir. Oh, look at that. How convenient. So my spy master's the, the heir. Next heir would be uh, my marshal. Is the second heir. His name is uh, Sig Trig. Yeah, it's that guy. Oh, look at that. So there's there's a few things you can handle this. You can imprison him. And uh, imprisoning him can work. It's got 75% chance. And you'll have to find a new freaking mar marshal. Uh, and sometimes it's nice because you can actually revoke their title if they have a certain county. But now he doesn't. So I can just say, hey, dude, end the plot. And he'll just, you know, end it because just out of... He doesn't have any reason to freaking, you know, say no. So there you go. And I'm just like, hey, dude, you know, stop freaking, um, you know, trying to kill that guy because he's pretty cool. He's my spy master. So he's like, oh, sorry, dude. I didn't mean to offend you. I just want to, you know, get the air, want to become the air in a disgusting manner. So there you go. Hmm, this actually turned out pretty interesting. There we go. Now it seems that v Vester Goodland is um, occupied. And there's a battle going on here that we're losing. But that's fine. We could actually move over there and stop them, I hope. Um, after giving my advice on a delicate matter, the courtier asked me to accept a small gift of gold as thanks for my help. I guess I accept the gift reluctantly, and there's a 45% chance of I get the, the trade of charitable. Or I can say, wasn't my advice worth more than a couple pennies, and then I get the, the, the trade greedy. I want the uh, charitable, one, charitable one, obviously. So I'm going to go with that one. And there's just a small chance of it happening, but whatever. It can happen, and that's a good trade to have. Um, how's the war going? 48%. So he's actually getting close to giving up soon. He's oh, 60%. Now it's almost occupied. I think one more siege will do it. And then Vester Goodland is no longer in Sweden's control. It is officially occupied. That's right, just like Occupy. Here we go. Occupied the shit out of it. And now the war score is 70%. Just because we defeated a lot of their units and we took over one of their provinces. This could turn ugly, but I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to help. And hopefully I can actually stay. Um, if we ever, you know, topple Sweden, it can happen. Weird things happen in Grand Strategy Games. Um, I can stay independent and start taking over other counties and start my own first uh, duchy. And you actually become a duke, because now I'm just a count, which is the lowest of the lowest. In case you didn't know yet, a count has a county, which is the smallest, pretty much. Uh, there's baron under that, but you can't play as one of those. And then there's uh, dukes. Dukes have duchies, which are several different counties uh, 
in a little group. And then there's kings, and above kings you even have um, emperors, which is the highest there is. Uh, but now her account, and let's say that she actually wins this battle. What's her face? What's her face, anyway? Maria of Sweden, uh, who is attacking her son. Let's say she wins. Then maybe I can negotiate with her to get this little thing, or I can declare war on her sometime later if I have enough money for um, for mercenaries. And then I can take it over, become a duke, and so slowly start expanding. That's sort of the plan uh, for now. Here we go. Victory, it's 78%. So close to losing. What's this? Pomerania. Pomerania. It's doing pretty good. Denmark. What the fuck? All sorts of crazy things happening. Ireland is sort of becoming uh, somewhat more of a union, I guess. France. Uh, I mean, well, France. Spain is getting its ass kicked. Uh, well, France is getting its ass handed to them by England as well. Hungary, Poland, Turov. I don't even know what that is. So the Muslims are just expanding. Look at the uh, the Arabs. Oh, I've shown great heroism in his glorious victory. My prestige has greatly increased. That's five. It's not that much, but whatever. It's, uh, nobody cares. Anyway, whatever. Boom. Slowly taking it over. 87%. Sweden is officially over. Now this could mean that... Oh, here we go. My liege, my work in Jemtland, which is over there... Seems to have come to fruition by bribing, cajoling, I don't even know what that is, extorting, threatening, and forging documents. I have managed to fabricate a claim on the county of Jemtland, presently held by Count Austmod of Jemtland. I leave it up to you whether to use it or not. You can say let it go, you get some piety. Or you can say use it, and then you get a claim on this. The guy will dislike you a bit, but that's not too bad. You lose some gold and some prestige, but let's do it. So now, if I click on my character, I have a claim on the county of Jemtland, which means that we have a reason to declare war if we uh, drop our levies. Right now, it's not going to work, obviously, but we do have a claim on it, so we can we can declare war later. They don't have too many soldiers. If we have you know a bit more, we can officially declare war on them and then freaking kill their asses and take their county for ourselves, which is good. But first, let's deal with the whole Sweden situation. Oh, here we go. Princess Maria of Sweden has won. And now Sweden is officially hers. Which is good. She probably likes me because I... Uh, here we go. 39. That's good. Because I helped her out when the, uh, there was war and all that crap. Demand duchy. Opinion. Title rank is duke. I'm not a duke. Can be given away lower than king. Uh, what? Title rank is duke. Desired by. Can be given away. Uh, Prince Eric of Sweden, which is probably your son or something. Yeah, Prince Eric of Sweden actually has that right now. So that's kind of sucky, but it's fine. Um, at least we have our own uh, county again, and we're no longer occupied by that ass hat, whatever the heck his name is. And we have a claim on you with your face. We can claim Yemtland and take it over. But we're going to need some, some, you know, some soldiers and all that for that. So I'm going to skip... For a bit, I've decided to institute the limited crown authority law in the kingdom of Sweden. Um, this is not Sweden, is it? No, it's not. Uh, Sweden. The royal laws of Sweden. Uh, crown authority is autonomous vessels, which means that vessels are law unto themselves, ruling their fiefs like petty kingdoms. Their obligations to their liege are minimal. So she wants to get more. Um, where's your ships and following baronies? Oh, that's pretty sweet. So, I mean, it's not too bad, actually, to get limited crown authority. And if, if you know, she actually institutes that, I'm pretty sure I can't actually go with this because she can't give it away because she can't revoke titles. So I'm going to approve of this. And, she, you know, she's pretty nice as well. So I'm going to approve and let's take a look at the votes that are coming in. Only 15. So she's got 13 votes because of her, her realm. I only have two uh, for some reason. So that's 15 people. Or 15 votes. I'm the only person that said, yeah, okay, let's go with it. And um, she didn't like it that much. So I'm not invited to a feast. I'm going to say, yes, let's go to the feast. Because, you know, you can get prestige there. There's all sorts of reasons to go to a feast. So I'm going to go ahead with it. Uh, thank you for having us at the feast. It was fun. Wow. Okay, so there we go. No, that's not Denmark. I mean, Norway is, is finally unity again. Sweden is back. That's kind of sad, but okay. Okay, we got some prestige for showing up at the stupid party. 
I guess I'll be, I'll be happy with that. Stupid wife still needs to die, though. Seriously, I need a son. You better give me a son. I'm gonna be mad. I'm gonna be so mad. Oh, there we go. Some more votes. The Duke Sven. That guy, who is actually one of the heirs, has, um... Oh, he's got some supporters. They actually have an elective uh, thing here, so if the, um... The, the, the queen likes you a lot, then you can actually become... Uh, they can actually get a vote to become the next heir. Uh, but, you know, I'm only a small-time dude. I don't get, you know, that sort of votes. But it could be... Um, okay, blah, blah, blah. There's rebels, but there's... I just need to get enough soldiers to take this bozo down. I don't want to save and then reload if I screw up. So I'm just going to do my best to... Uh, do this the right way. I don't have any children. Damn it, this sucks. My stupid wife is not doing anything. I'm gonna claim that shit. Oh, see, here we go. This is the end of the game. Because after nine years, I've died. I've literally died. This is the end of it. Uh, it doesn't actually tell me what happened. But I only have a score of 161, which is just um, my piety. And my prestige gathered together. So after nine years, I have a score of 160. And that's just the end of my whole lineage. Because my son of a bitch wife can actually get me any kids. So that's just the end of the fucking first game. That was terrible. But at least I showed you. I Just um, look at this as sort of a, a little tutorial as to what this game is about. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. And I'll be back. Uh, sooner or later, if you guys want me to, if you guys really enjoyed this, and I'll be playing as um, someone cooler than that dude, and I'll be doing my best to actually get some kids, because this was just terrible. So, thanks for watching, and I will check to